This is the backbreaker dip. Really beautiful dip. And really, really fun to um, uh, dip to do to fancy up your other moves. It's really exciting um, when you can accomplish this move because it takes a lot of grace and a lot of being aware of each other um, as partners. So a lot of times the way that um, you get into this move is the spin out and the spin by. So if you can see, she spun out all the way in his left hand. So normally the spin out, he'll spin out right, do the spin by across, which is another video that I did, and then um, it's when you finish that spin by, spin by and you're gonna bring her underneath that left hand. Notice once again the tension in this arm. This is really important because Jen said it gives you um, the give you need to lead and ladies, it um, allows you to move and know where he wants you to go. So you watch these hands right here, he's gonna bring her underneath that arm. So you're gonna pull her towards him and spin her underneath. Watch the rotation in that hand. Okay. Now this can go into a lot of different moves. So gents, you'll want to use your mouth actually and say dip. Okay, that's really important. So if you watch his hands right here, he's going to go up. Right here, and he's going to spin his hand in order to spin her around his hand. Ladies, you want to follow through so that you do spin right here. Gents, you've taken your right hand and you put it on her back. Um, here, see how he's got his hands here? This also is what's going to tell her it's the dip because you're going to want to stop and catch her right in the center. See how her leg is centered? That's where you're aiming for, ladies. Anytime you step past your guy when it's a spin out, um, you want to land right here his center look at look at his base too that's really important so he's spinning her here spinning her all the way around until she's towards him and stopping her here spin here stop here now make sure you have a good grip here once you get to this point because this is going to be her only handle you've got her here but this will be her only handle so we're going to get to this point ladies when you feel that hand on your back and he stops you plant that leg this is the leg that I'm going to dip on. So you're going to get through here. Um, now he set his base. He knows he's going to lean to his right. So he sets that leg out there to do that right like lunge. Here he's got his hand on her back here and supporting her lower back. That's the most important part. You don't want to be too high. You can, it just turns it into a different dip, but this is the backbreaker dip. This dip you want to do very slowly. Don't speed through this dip. This can truly hurt her if you're not careful. Um, but this is your supporting hand. This is your back. Um, oh, this is the hand that guides and uh, is her handle. Ladies, you want to keep that arm flex. That's what holds you up. And then gents, you've got the supporting hand on her lower back. Ladies. You have your one leg that's planted and you have your other knee that's bent. You bend both knees for this. This bent knee, ladies, is what will allow you to do a back bend over him. If you just try and do a straight back bend, you could. It doesn't look as good and it doesn't give your back as much give. If you bend that knee, then when you go back, boom, it looks that much more arched, okay? Now, gents, she is arching over your hand. So you want to make sure that you keep this hand tight. Um, give that enough tension that she can hold on to it and extend herself out over it. Um, so you don't ever want to like loosen or she'll, she'll twist out of your arms that way. Um, but you do want to keep a good tension right there. Ladies, you can use this hand to either make it more graceful and romantic or you can hold on to his arm here if you're nervous. Um, but it is... It, really does add to the look of the dip if you're bringing your arm back over your head. So just to clarify, gents, your right arm is behind her back. Your left arm is supporting her, ladies. Your right hand is your anchor right here that you're holding on to, and your left hand is your flare. 
Um, this one's really important. Your body follows your head. So make sure you lift your chin. You're arching your whole back. But what makes that arch happen is this bent knee here. So I am bending my knee here. I'm not keeping it straight. I'm totally making an arc right here. I'm um, it's lifting and bending this leg um, that truly makes it dip. So I really like to bend my left leg on every dip that I do, but pick your favorite. Um, I've noticed that it's often your opposite dominant. So I'm right-handed, so I always bend my left leg. But that bent knee does wonders. Now remember, gents, to lower this down. And just like many dips, you want to fully hit that dip. You don't want to go halfway and then jerk her back up. You want to go until she's fully extended. Hold it for a second, not too long, and come back up. When you come back up, do so slowly, pulling equally between this arm and her back. You don't want all the pressure on the back. You don't want all the pressure on the arm. But you use both to stand up. Now notice how, gents, he set his base so he doesn't fall over, and he did bend with her a little bit. This allows you to keep her close to your chest because when she's close to your chest, she's lighter. So you just kind of bend with her and it's an incredible looking dip. Slow, beautiful, really romantic. Um, and it's called the back breaker, back breaker dip because it's elegant. See right there, she's reached her full extent. And then he comes back up right here. See how she's fully arched around his hand. And that leg is lifted so that I'm actually not as arched as I look here. Does that make sense? So that looks like an incredible arch, but because I lifted that leg, it's less of an arch um, and less pressure on our back, right? So when you come back up, slowly lift both ladies. You are helping that come up by flexing your arm too. He's gonna pull up as much as he can, and you are also gonna pull up with your arm right here. So right about he here is when I unfold that leg when I start to feel my body tilting the other direction, I'm gonna unbend that leg and step. Boom. So right at this point, he's still, gents, you still have your arm, your hand on her back, um, your right hand on her back. That left hand, which pulled her up, she, you're now going to send her back through that um, little window that you made for. Some guys would just slide into the other hand position don't do that, her momentum is going this way. So when you dip her down, just like you waited for it to fully reach that point, um, when you're coming back up, go with her momentum, go with her momentum out this way. Um, because you want, boom, just like that. You want her to, f to go in the direction she's going, so ladies, to look good at that again. So gents, you're lifting up that left arm for her to go underneath. Ladies, it's your right arm that you're going underneath. Now right here, when you, when I take that step, right, with my left foot, I'm gonna take my right foot and just catch myself like a little stance, boom. Because it was like a total spin out again. And then after you come up, she's got her whole balance, you've kept that tension. Then you can bring her back in and under. Slide your hand along her back. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. Boom. Oh. That's the end of the video, I think. Um, I wrote it here. Let's just watch. So you're springing her in. Down, dip. Beautiful. Come up, slide, spin out. And then you can bring her back. So this time, when you are... All right, so you've just dipped, you've brought her up really slowly and carefully, gone with that momentum. So ladies, this is better. I use that leg that I had bent when he brings me up. I step with it and use my right leg to counterbalance it. So I come up, step with my left here, and I'm gonna use my right to stop my momentum. Funk. Here, gents, her momentum can change right at this point when she stopped herself. You don't want to pull any sooner. Otherwise, her body's going this way, her lower body's going this way, and her arms and upper body will be pulled that way. So you want to wait till she hits that 
right leg momentum. Then you pull her back underneath. And um, if you want her to dip, tell her. Otherwise, just put your hand on her back. Right here, you're gonna catch her elbow and catch her hand right there, boom. And you can either hold on to her hands and keep going with the cow bop, or you can do a spin out all over again or another lift, whichever, whatever you want to lead into next, but that's what gets you back um, balanced and ready able to do your moves. So let's watch it one more time, it's really beautiful. Um, catch her back slowly, hit that full extent, come back up, kind of balance, boom. Beautiful, beautiful dip. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Lead us, lead. I was like, leave comments and let us know. Um, if there's any questions you have on it, we're super excited to um, have you on the team.